I welcome you my YouTube channel with the Base Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I teach you the bootstrap aircraft refrigeration systems. In this video, I discussing introductions of bootstrap aircraft refrigeration systems, its various component, how it is assembled, how it's functioning, how it's work and how to throw a TS diagram on the bootstrap cycles with individual components and last we find out the COP of the systems. Now we starting from the introductions, the bootstrap cycle is the modifications of the simple aircraft refrigeration systems. So I suggest you first watch the video of the simple aircraft refrigeration system. The link for this video is provided in description and also suggested in the top right corner of your screens. It is a modification of the simple systems. It consists of the two compressors, two heat exchangers and one turbine. Okay. And simple system is consists of the one compressor, one heat exchanger, turbines and then air is supplied into the cabins. Okay. Now this system is used in the aircraft. That's why it is known as the aircraft refrigeration systems. Now in this aircraft that is a, on the wings of the aircraft that is a cell is provided this is the one side and this is the two sides and in these cells that is a gas turbine power plant is installed to run the aeroplanes in this cell of the wings that is a compressor combustion chambers and turbine is already present that is the gas power plants and we also use these compressors as a compressor of aircraft refrigeration systems okay now in this cell the first the here the component is the diffusers in the diffusers we supply the atmospheric air and it's the point number one the aeroplane is the fly at the high altitude at the high altitude the pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure the atmospheric condition is the 1.013 to 5 bars so at the high altitude pressure is lower than the atmospheric means lower than the 1.013 to 5 bar. Then this air is supplied from the diffusers. In the diffusers, the isentropic compression is takes place. That is the process 1 to 2. That means the pressure of this atmospheric air is increased from P1 to P2. And isentropic means it's the constant entropy. When the pressure is increased, the temperature is also increased. Now we draw first this process on the TS diagram. On the Y axis, it is temperature. On the X axis, it is the entropy. Now at the inlet, in the TS diagram, the pressure line is drawn as this curve line. That is a P1 pressure. And it is lower than the atmospheric conditions. And after compressions, we get the P2 pressure. So it is the pressure P2. So point number one is come on the P1 line. This is the point number one. From the point number one, it is an isentropic compression. That means entropy is constant. And when the entropy is constant, that means S1 is equal to S2. And during this compression, pressure is increased from P1 to P2. Pressure is increased and temperature is also increased from T1 to T2. So we throw the vertical line because it is isentropic compressions. And we get the point number 2 on the P2 line. Then after this ramp air is supplied into the compressor. What is the function of compressor? To increase the pressure by reducing its volume. Now if you want to know the how to draw the symbol of compressor and turbine then link is provided in description as well as suggested in the top right screen. In this compressor the process is takes place process 2 to 3 and it is known as the isentropic compression process in isentropic compressions there is a entropy is constant pressure is increased temperature is also increased okay so pressure is increased from p2 pressure to p3 pressure and entropy is constant when line is drawn vertical from point 2 to point 3 so it is a p3 pressure okay then after this compressed air is supplied into the heat exchanger 
this is the heat exchangers heat exchanger means we are exchanging the heat with some other fluids or the liquid okay now this compressed air is the high temperatures in the heat exchanger we try to reduce its temperature at the constant pressure when the heat exchanger is there we assume that it is the isobaric cooling or heating is takes place here we remove the heat from this air okay for removing the heat we require some another air or gas so this is the boundary of the heat exchangers and these heat exchangers we supply the ramp air that is ramp air available after the diffuser the ramp air is supplied as the cooling air in this heat exchangers and it is exhaled out from these sides okay and this heat exchanger process is known as the process 3 to 4 the process 3 to 4 is isobaric heat rejection process that means at the constant pressure we removing the heat from this compressed air now constant pressure line is drawn as this cow line okay so cow line is drawn and we rejecting the heat that means temperature is reduced if the temperature is increased then line is going in upper directions and this right sides because constant entropy line is drawn as this cow line but in this case we removing the heat that why this line is moving towards the bottom left sides okay so it this is line is indicating the process 3 to 4 isobaric heat rejection that's why temperature is reduced so four point is coming lower than the t3 and temperature is reduced then entropy is also reduced and point is moved towards the left sides okay then after this compress sorry cold air is supplied into the second compressors in the second compressors again the isentropic compression is takes place that is a process 4 to 5 its pressure is increased at constant entropy pressure is increased temperature is increased and entropy s4 is equal to s5 both are same so for the isentropic process we draw the vertical lines on the ts diagram that is the process 4 to 5 okay that is a pressure is increased from p4 to p5 temperature is increased for p4 to t5 then after this compressed air is supplied into the second heat exchangers so here we draw the second heat exchangers then its process is 5 to 6 it is a second heat exchangers that why we again require some another medium to exchanging the heat so in this heat exchangers we are reducing the temperature of air that is coming out from the second compressors then 5 to 6 process is also known as the isobaric heat rejection process isobaric means at the constant pressures we are rejecting the heat to the atmosphere now rejecting the heat again we supplying this ramp air so we take air from here and passing from the heat exchangers so it's absorb the heat from the air passing inside the tubes and rejecting into the atmospheres now we draw this 5 to 6 process on the ts diagram 5 to 6 heat exchangers that means we assuming the constant pressure heat rejection constant pressure means pressure is constant p5 and p6 is same and due to the heat rejection its temperature is reduced so point 5 to 6 is moving towards the bottom left sides compared to the point 5 so it is a 5 to 6 line temperature is reduced from t5 to t6 pressure is remains constant because the constant pressure line is drawn as a curve on the ts diagram okay and temperature is reduced then entropy is reduced so it's move towards the left side if temp entropy is increased then the line is move towards the right sides then after this air cold air from the heat exchangers is supplied into the turbine in the turbine that is a process 6 to 7 is takes place it is known as the isentropic expansion process in the turbine that is expansion of the air is takes place now if you want to know how to draw the turbine and compressor symbols then watch the my video how to draw the symbol of turbine and compressor link is provided in descriptions due to the expansion the turbine is produced the some work that is a mechanical work and this mechanical work 
is supplied to the second compressor that means the second compressor is run by the turbine the turbine produce some work it is supplied to the second compressors so when we find out the cop of the system that's in that equations of the cop we only consider the work done supplied to the compressor one okay because the second compressor is completely run by the turbine so it is not considered as our work inputs now we draw this process 6 to 7 on the ts diagram in the ts diagram it is a 6 to 7 process is isentropic expansion isentropic means constant entropy and when the expansion is takes place that is the pressure is reduced temperature is reduced and isentropic means entropy is reduced when the isentropic process on ts diagram line is coming verticals either in upper direction in lower directions then during the compression that is a temperature is increased that's why we move from bottom to top sides in this turbine temperature is reduced so we moving to the downward directions and this expansion is takes place up to the cabin pressures that's we require in the aeroplanes here the passenger is sitting in the aircraft and they require the certain atmospheric pressures so we expand this air up to the cabin pressure that's why we draw the here one lines that's indicate the cabin pressure pc and up to that we expand in there that is a six to seven so this x to seven is indicate the isentropic expansion so entropy s6 is equal to s7 due to expansion pressure is reduced from the p6 to cabin pressure pc and due to expansion temperature is reduced from t6 to t7 then after this expand air coming out from the turbine is supplied into this cabin cabin means where the passenger is sitting in the aircraft okay or where the we require the cooling and this cabin condition is something eight conditions okay eight point means that is our human comfort range is the 26 degrees centigrade at the 26 degrees centigrade we are feeling comfortable so suppose we require the cabin temperature is 26 and the air coming out from the turbine itself temperature of 10 degree or 8 degree then this 7 point air is supplied into the cabin so this air is start to absorbing the heat energy from the cabin from the cabin means our body is rejecting the heat that's why the, our room temperature or cabin temperature is increased so this cool air is start to absorbing the heat when it is start to absorbing the heat at the constant pressure the temperature is start to increase okay the so 7 to 8 process is the isobaric heat absorption process means at the constant pressure it's absorbed the heat constant pressure means that is a constant pressure that means cabin pressure and it absorbed the certain heat up to the point 8 okay so this diagram is not closed because our cycle is open system it continuously circulate the new mass in the system so our point number 1 and 8 is not joints it is an open system the mass flow rate is continuous change okay and suppose if the this question is added to the bootstrap cycles with evaporative heat exchangers then we adding the one heat exchanger here between the second heat exchangers and the turbine so here we adding the one evaporative heat exchangers when the evaporative heat exchanger this air is cooled by using the water okay so air is cooled by using the water and in the ts diagram one point is added in between two five and six that is a five to six line is for the second heat exchanger so here one point is added then it is known as the bootstrap cycle with evaporative heat exchangers now we find out the equation of cop and find out the also writing the equations for all the process 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 and 7 to 8 so first we write down for the process that is the ramming of the air 1 to 2 so first it is an isentropic process then we use these equations to find out the temperature t2 or and pressure whatever is not given the t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 is to gamma minus 1 upon gamma now we applying the steady flow energy equations on the diffusers 
we get this equation h2 minus h1 is equal to c2 square upon 2 into 1000 this same means the velocity of the aircraft and this enthalpy is enthalpy difference is also denoted as cp into delta t so instead of this enthalpy in these equations we write down cp in bracket t2 minus t1 okay then we further modify these equations the t2 is equal to t1 plus c square upon 2 into 1000 into cp so by using these equations you are able to find out the temperature of the air after the diffusers or that means the temperature of the ramped air then process 2 to 3 isentropic compressions in the main compressor then we need to find out the work done in isentropic compressions that is a process 2 to 3 that is a mcp t3 minus t2 temperature at the outlet of compressor is higher so it is a t3 minus t2 if the t3 is not given so we use similar equations that is a t3 upon t2 is equal to p3 upon p2 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma then you are able to find out the temperature t3 then find out the work done next process 3 to 4 isobaric heat rejections in the first heat exchangers that means how amount of the heat is rejected in the heat exchanger one it is find out that is a qr is equal to mcp t3 minus t4 next 4 to 5 isentropic compression in second compressors that is a wc is equal to mcp t5 minus t4 but this equation is not added in the equation of cop because this compressor is freely runs by the watt amount of the work produced by the turbine that's why this second compressor work supply is not considered in the equation of cop then after the second compressed air is supplied into the second heat exchangers in the heat exchangers the isobaric heat rejection is takes place so in this heat exchangers we also find out the amount of heat rejected qres and its equation is mcp t5 minus t6 then it is supplied in the turbine in the turbine 6 to 7 process isentropic expansion is takes place that means some amount of the work produced by the turbine that is a wt mcp t6 minus t7 so this amount of the work is produced by the turbine and it is supplied into this second compressor during the 4 to 5 process now there next 7 to 8 that is isobaric heat absorptions from the cabin that is denoted as qs or it is known as refrigerating effect is equal to mcp t8 minus t7 so this is the our output that is known as refrigerating effect and refrigerating effect is our output of the systems and what is our input that is work done supplied into the main compressors okay so next we write down the equation of the cop cop is equal to refrigerating effect or capacity upon power so it is output upon input our output is refrigerating effect mcp t8 minus t7 our input to the main compressor wc mcp t3 minus t2 so here we write down mcp is same so it is cancels and thank you for watching this video if you learn some things then like my video subscribe the channels and share this video with your friends thank you for watching this